Excuse me, sir. I uh, hate to bother you like this, but uh, would you happen to be French by any chance? Uh, Yes, I am French. And I suspect it is I you intended to meet. Which is surprising to me because I was expecting a woman. <laughs> and a beautiful one at that. <laughs> well, that's exactly why I'm here. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> right about what? About why I'm here. Hey, can I buy you a drink? <sighs> I have a drink. Can I buy you another one? If you're trying to get me drunk, it won't work. <laughs> oh, no. I really do prefer women. <laughs> Buddy, you got the wrong idea. I mean, you totally misunderstood me. <laughs> I hope so. Well, I am trying to get you interested in somebody, but it's somebody else. <clears throat> Is it a woman, somebody? Well, yeah! It's my wife! Hey, how very understanding of you. Well, it's kind of like that, but not exactly. In my experience, Every marriage is kind of like that, but not exactly. So you don't have to explain the obvious to me. Well, it goes a little further than that. I get it. You want to watch? <laughs> no, no, no. We got our signals crossed big time. <laughs> We're getting way off the track here, buddy. Oh, jeez. Well, then, you don't want me to make love to your wife? Yeah, I do. Well, then, what part don't I understand? I mean, it seems perfectly clear to me. It's important that you know why I want you to do what I want you to do. I mean, you might not get the job done. I am listening. A deal is. Well, what you need to know is. Look, here's the situation. Hey, come on, get to the point here. I'm trying to get rid of her. A fellow with your personality, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Well, thank you. <laughs> the problem is she's hanging on like death. And I, you know, I tried everything I could think of, but I, I just, just can't get rid of her, all right? <clears throat> Have you tried just uh, talking to her? Hmm? That ought to do it. No way. <laughs> Ever since she heard about Uncle Timothy, she... Oh, I mean, she doesn't let me out of her sight for ten minutes. It's like I'm in jail or something. Qui sait ce mec? What? What has Uncle Timothy has to do with anything? He's leaving me 10 million bucks. Oh, by the way. 
that a good thing? Well, <laughs> if you don't want to take mail, I'll take it. <laughs> the minute I accept the money, half of it is hers. That's the problem. Still, I mean, half of ten is five. Do you realize how long it would take me to make five million? Yeah, about one evening if you play your cards right. You have my undivided attention. Hmm. You ever been married? Let's not get into that, okay? So you haven't been then? I'd rather not talk about my personal close encounters. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same way myself. Kind of a private person, actually, yeah. Except for the guys down at the bar. Or at the alley, too. <laughs> I pull. Of course you do. 195 average. <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying, uh, I married her with the best of intentions. And just to show you what kind of a guy I am, I married her even though, well, uh, we never had sex. <laughs> you never had sex before you married her? Huh? <laughs> or since, either. <laughs> Well, that sounds like a match made in heaven, huh? That's just what I thought at first. <laughs> I figured, hell, she's a virgin. If she ain't interested in the first place, she's never gonna cheat on me, right? C'est pas la logique française, huh? Come again? Do you hit a lot of hot dogs? Go to baseball games? How'd you know about that? Uh, well, <clears throat> it's been established that uh, you are what you eat. I just never heard that you think what you eat. I mean, that's, that's new to me. Can we just stick to the subject here? All right, so let me guess. You thought she was a virgin when you married her? Then you married her and you realized that she was not after all, right? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you ought to go into the crystal ball business, buddy. You're good. Well, my friend, <clears throat> to know one woman is to understand them all. Yeah, that could be true. <laughs> Drink to that. <laughs> so, what do you want me to do exactly? I want you to make her forget all about me. And then... die. I mean... one is no good without the other. Has to be both. Yes! Has to be both. And I got the plan too. It's part Perry Mason and part Nero Wolf. I, I don't understand. Well, that's the beauty part, don't you see? Nobody else will either. Well, yeah, I mean, that's right. I mean... <laughs> It's not enough that she just dies. First she has to tell everybody she doesn't want me no more. And then I won't be a suspect, see? Which leaves you in the clear. Right. Because uh, she's in love with somebody else? Right. Me? Right. So... I'll be the suspect. Right. 
So I go to jail for murder, but I don't tell on you. Look, I didn't think that far ahead, all right? Well, maybe you should go back and do your homework, huh? Maybe you should go back and ask yourself a few questions. How are you going to spend your million from inside a jail cell? Jesus, if you're going to be so negative about this, maybe I'll just have to get somebody else, huh? Then where will you be? I'll be in a position to come and visit you. Oh, God. Look, buddy. I'm in a bad spot right now, okay? I, 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 I don't need that kind of stuff from you. What I do need is an expert on women. And I figured you'd be in French and all. I... Just... Well, thank you very much. I mean, that's not the part I'm having problem with. Huh. Well, thanks for opening up. I mean, you know, see how it is when you start sharing things with people? <laughs> Communication could be a wonderful thing, amigo. Hmm, yeah. That's what she said last night. Who? Oh. No one you know. <clears throat> oh. Can we just stick to the point? I mean, our time here is limited, all right? Yeah, especially yours. Enough already! Now, how about it? If she... Look, if, if you weren't married to her, she'd look like a pretty damn good deal. Hell, she's got a charge account at one of those lingerie places. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <sighs> Sounds to me like uh, the old Red Charles song. Hit the road, Jack? No. It's cheaper to keep her. Ha ha! Look, I don't know what else to do here. You're my last hope. <sighs> Boy, that's depressing. I mean, even I am not my last hope. What am I gonna do here? <sighs> Damn it! Oh. Uh, do you own a gun? No. Hmm. Why? We could have blown your brains out. You're a big help. Who are you working for anyway, her or me? In a community property state, it wouldn't really matter. Now stop right there. In this arrangement, I'm the idea guy, see? And just remember, before you met me, you didn't have a penny to piss on, all right? Where did you get that idea? No place. I just always wanted to say that, that's all. All right, before I go, I have one question. Wait a minute, where are you going? Do you have a picture of your wife with you? Yeah, sure, I... Well, one thing is for sure. What's that? I'm going to need a telephone number. No problem. I got her, uh, I, I, I got her, uh, voicemail, landline, cell phone, beeper number, all right here. In fact, I can have her, uh, meet you on league night. I can have her come over the alley. <laughs> Just so you can meet her. Well, thank you very much, but I know how to meet women, all right? Especially one who looks like this. Fine with me. Well, you can help me with one thing, however. Glad to. Just name it. Tell me how the two of you ever get together. We had the same psychiatrist. We decided to carpool and they increased her medication. Hmm. I see. I think she was just uh, kind of impressed with my car. What was that? 
Mercedes, <laughs> a stretch. <laughs> like the one you see at the airport? Absolutely. Mine still had the meter in it. <laughs> Disconnected, of course. Hmm. T'as pas ce moyen d'un con, toi. Gesundheit. <laughs> well, I mean, don't take any offense from it, but you are a complete train wreck. Is that a good thing? <laughs> well, even depending on your perspective, I can't see any upside to your situation. No mitigating factors, eh? Mitigating factors? <laughs> I don't feel bad, buddy. I don't know what it means either. <laughs> but that's what the judge told me this morning. <laughs> you were in front of a judge this morning? Yeah, just for a couple hours. <sighs> what was the nature of the proceedings? I'd rather not say. Uh, since I got to know you a little better, you probably only see the negative side. Well, may I at least inquire whether it was a civil or criminal matter? We were civil to each other. That makes no sense at all. <laughs> That's just what I told the judge. <laughs> you and I, we think alike. On fait une sacrée paire de loulous tous les deux. There you go again! So it's a done deal or what? Well, there is a question about the five mil. It's yours! The whole five million! Five for you, five for me. Done deal! That's fantastic. When do I get it? Well, he's got to die first. <laughs> Don't you mean she? No, he. My uncle. But I, I thought you said that he passed. What gave you that idea? What well, you did. I mean, where else would I get the idea? Whoa. Hey, pal. I mean, I don't mean no disrespect here. But you're going to have to start paying a little attention. You may not like the boss, but there's a reason he is the boss. And when the boss talks, you gotta listen. I specifically remember you telling me that he passed. Passed what? I assumed that he passed away, kicked the bucket, you know, Mokamara. Aha! <laughs> well, advice, amigo. Never assume nothing. Because it makes an ass out of you and me. Especially you. So, he's not dead yet? Hell no! Is he ill? I don't know. I mean... How old is this uncle of yours? 25. How can you have an uncle that's 25? I married late in life. Sue me. So, what you're saying is, when he dies, this uncle is going to leave you 10 million, right? Right. That's pretty much it. Pretty much or exactly? Pretty much exactly. Explain that to me, if you'd be so kind. I think we're losing our focus here by going into all this detail. Nevertheless. No problem. My uncle will leave the $10 million to me when he dies. Capiche? Okay, but what else? But first, he has to inherit it from his old man. C'est le bordel complet, ce truc.
It's a can't miss deal. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've heard of those. <sighs> Look, the only thing that has to happen is that the old man dies and my uncle gets the dough with, uh, whoops. If? I didn't say if. I heard you say if. Well, hell, I might have said if, but I was thinking about something totally different. All right, you tell me now or I'm out of here. If he marries and has a kid, all right, you happy? Otherwise, he doesn't inherit? Right. <laughs> it's a surefire deal, huh? Right! Well, all makes perfect sense. I told you so! Except for one thing. What one thing? If your uncle has a wife and a kid, why would he leave you the 10 million, huh? Why wouldn't he leave, them, leave it to them? What? Yeah, that little thing didn't enter your consideration, did it? Well, I mean, you know, my plan, it's like a work in progress. <clears throat> yeah, well, I have one idea. I'm willing to listen. Just don't forget I'm the final authority when it comes to, the, you know, all the decisions made here. All right? Okay. You ready? So here it is. Let's just forget the whole thing. Alternative is to kill your uncle so you can inherit directly from his father. <laughs> 